this particular skill is the AC taping. So what we have here is we have what's called a second or a third degree uh, AC separation, which means the clavicle has pulled off a little bit from the acromion process. And what we're going to do is we're just going to help kind of hold that down because as that moves and bumps up and down, it creates um, certainly some pain for the particular athlete. And most of the time is it goes upward. So as long as we hold it down, many times they can still function and still play uh, without too many um, issues and problems as long as we kind of secure that down. Now there's a whole host of different pads that you can put on to help protect this as well, uh, but this is the best technique that we have for actually securing um, the clavicle down kind of into position. So what needs to happen here is that we want to make sure that we uh, kind of prep the area, which means that we uh, is clean shaven um, because we're definitely going to apply the tape directly onto the skin. Uh, we're going to come right over the nipple area. So uh, if this is a female athlete, you would want to make sure that you do this over a sports bra. Male athlete, we just put a Band-Aid over his nipple just to make sure that it doesn't create any significant chafing. Uh, because we're playing it, try, applying the tape directly onto the skin, and most likely he's going to sweat, we want to make sure that we spray the area just to make sure that the tape um, stays nice and secure. So I would spray the whole front, top of the shoulder, back of the clavicle to make sure that um, uh, it's good and tacky and sticky. Now with the tough skin, it takes about 30 seconds to a minute to fully dry and uh, be in its secure state. So as you know, we kind of just talk to your athlete, uh, get all your other supplies ready to go um, while this is actually happening. So the first thing that we're actually going to do is we're going to um, apply um, a couple of small anchors that are gonna go essentially halfway kind of around the body. And because we've got our tough skin applied here, um, that's going to secure nice, flat, and easy um, uh, around the body. If we didn't apply the tough skin, this would pull off very, very quickly and not really be nice and secure. So now that we've got our anchors in place in the front and in the back, what we're going to do is we're going to just take, take our tape and bring this down from point A to point B. So I might want to just kind of quick measure that I've got their exact size. And it's very important as we go here that we apply quite a bit of downward pressure because that's what's really gonna hold that clavicle down. And we don't want him to kind of raise his shoulder up while we're doing this. We wanna keep his kind of shoulder loose and down um, as much as we possibly can. So we'll do as many of these as we feel like we need to to Keep and hold that clavicle down into place. Generally, I like to use at least three, if not four, to be able to hold that piece down. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go right over the top of those so those don't come pulling off while he's actually playing. Smooth it all out, make sure it's good and stays in place. That's gonna help prevent and keep that clavicle from popping up and out.